Shannon Stubbs is a conservative MP for Lakeland, Alberta. Now she's an opposition backbencher, but she's been one of the loudest voices on the forefront of the fight for Alberta and for Canadian energy sector jobs. I met Stubbs down at the Vegerville Rodeo Grounds in the heart of her riding to talk about the amazing success of her last House of Commons petition, where she garnered over 34,000 signatures. Yes, I was uh, very proud to sponsor and present the most signed e-petition in Canadian history to date at the time that it was presented, which was a petition calling on the government to champion pipeline projects as important economic infrastructure across Canada to Tidewater and into the U.S. and to champion uh, workers in the oil and gas industry, which does so much for all of Canada and, of course, is one of the major roles that Canada plays globally. So uh, we tabled that in the first week back in session and also had a media conf conference with um, with Bernard Hancock who is the individual citizen who sponsored the petition and also representatives from the Canadian Association of Oil Well Drilling Contractors and from the Quebec Oil and Gas Association who were there to talk about the importance of pipelines to the energy sector which is the sector that underpins the entire Canadian economy. And Stubbs tells me she's not done. She has a love of petitions that may just rival my own. She just launched another one. So Bernard is uh, happy to work with me again. He is sponsoring uh, an e-petition against the unilateral federal imposition of the carbon tax. So uh, people can sign on to that if they go to my website at shannonstubbsmp.ca. And I'm, I'm appealing to Lakelanders and also Albertans and of course Canadians right across the country to to sign that e-petition and make it clear to the federal Liberal government that they don't want the carbon tax to be unilaterally imposed and about the economic consequences it will, it will have on their families and on their businesses and on their communities. Now Bernard Hancock is someone Rebel viewers know well as the out of work oil patch worker from our viral video where he defended the oil patch earlier this year. Since Bernard appeared with Stubbs in the House of Commons to present her last petition, he's been under personal attack from the left. They're calling him a fake and an actor. I asked Stubbs about what she thought about those attacks on Bernard. Well, it was interesting to watch the lefty uh, machine change their messages on that. So initially they came out and said that uh, they criticized Bernard for fulfilling too much of their perception of a stereotype of an oil and gas worker. But then um, once they found out that he has a liberal arts degree and is from BC and is educated in Quebec and works in Alberta, then suddenly he didn't fulfill their stereotype enough and they condemned him for that. So, you know, Bernard is a guy who is stuck his neck out to fight for uh, Canadians who work in the oil and gas sector and for the sector as a whole and uh, I think it speaks badly of the of the extremist activists who would condemn personally him for for taking that action for leading on that initiative they're also always the exact same people who go on and on about tolerance and love and understanding and acceptance and not judging people for their appearances and that's exactly what they did to Bernard. Stubbs is standing out as a rising star in the Conservative caucus and she's working hard to get Albertans back to work every day. The same can't be said about the four sickeningly silent Liberal MPs from Alberta. We're unfortunate to have them. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. The Liberals' job-killing carbon tax will devastate rural Alberta. Go to StopTheCarbonTax.com and sign our petition.